Okay, on this video I'm gonna show you how to fix the HDR on Windows for LG OLEDs and probably for everything, for any uh, monitor or TV that you're using for HDR gaming on Windows. So the first thing you have to do is download this app, it's called CRU and you can find this in monitortest.com uh, so you just come to this uh, website and you scroll down and you download one of the versions the one that I have is the 1.4.2 so just click there it's a, it's a zip you are going to extract that you're gonna get this so you just open it just open it and I'm gonna do here I'm gonna do two things and this is the reason why I was using this app the first thing is to delete the resolution 4096 by 2160 okay because that resolution is useless and it causes stretching in some games so to do that we come here you click here edit and you're going to click on TV resolutions edit you will see those four 4096 by 2160 resolutions you click on them you delete them delete all of them you also need to come here to HDMI 2.0 support edit uh, no sorry not there HDMI support edit and you will see also another 4096 by 2160 resolution you click on it and you delete it and you click OK so and now to fix that HDR what we need to do is to tell Windows that this display is 800 nits <laughs> so for that we're gonna click here edit we're going to click on HDR static metadata edit and then you see here max luminance and max frame frame average so these two spaces are empty okay so what you need to do is just to have this number 128 after testing I started with 800 I thought this was in nits and it is not so I got it down to 130 130 was like 835 nits so yeah 128 is gonna be exactly 800 nits so you click OK, 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 and what you're going to do is click here, Restart 64, and that is going to restart the drivers, basically. It's going to restart everything so the changes are applied. And now, to test that actually this is working, we are going to right-click on the desktop, uh, Display Settings, and we are going to to see advanced display information and we're going to see that peak brightness is, is 800 nits so before doing this the peak brightness was 1500 nits that's why everything was <laughs> messed up so now we open a game like this Shadow of Mordor which has a terrible <laughs> I mean it's not a terrible HDR but it doesn't have any sliders so basically on this game you just turn on HDR from Windows and then you come here uh, brightness HDR enable and you just have this <laughs> this uh, slider so with the slider right in the center and dynamic tone mapping on it is it gives you perfect visibility on the darkness and on the bright area so dynamic tone mapping on for this kind of uh, bad implementations work amazing and now this looks perfect it's giving you perfect shadow detail 700 800 nits highlights uh, it looks colorful that's another thing that I realized with Windows 11 I think that HDR is doing a better job at least on this game I still need to I still need to do more testing in other games and see if that's the case but now on HDR on this game it is changing to DCI-P3 so I do not have to use uh, color gamut on native and I am getting 
a colorful, beautiful game. I do not have to use Color Gamut on native because uh, it's on HDR and it's switching to DCI-P3. And how do I know that? Very easily. I just go to the HDMI signaling override menu and I switch this. So basically, just leave the settings button press. You come here, 1113, 111. And then you go here on the color colorimetry and you change to P3 and there is no change. So basically, that color gamut on native, what it's doing is converting to DCI P3 which is the native color space of the TV. So because it is automatically switching, you don't have to use color gamut on native and you have a colorful game. So yeah, it's working flawlessly. Other games like uh, Red Dead Redemption, the HDR is, uh, clip, is hard clipping using HDIG, is hard clipping at 800 nits and it is basically perfect HDR the colors are still messed up so I'm gonna do a video about that HLG is my choice in that game and yeah I'm gonna be showing uh, now all the comparisons with the HDR10 now properly uh, working and it is perfect <laughs> I mean it is perfectly in range now because Windows is trying to do 800 nits which is what this display can do